On Tuesday, Prince William joined the observance of Anzac Day in London's Hyde Park, paying tribute to the fallen Australian and New Zealand Army Corps Anzac. Soldiers who lost their lives in battle. The ceremony, which included a rendition of the last post, a moment of silence, a reveal, and the singing of national anthems, was attended by the Prince of Wales, who signed the Book of Remembrance while music was played on a didgeridoo. A Maury Wyatt song was also performed by London-based anti Renan and Zatch Day. It has been observed in London since King George V attended the first service at Westminster Abbey in 1916. Since then, the annual moment of remembrance has honored all Australians and New Zealanders who have lost their lives in conflict and recognized those who have served. The services have become an integral part of the Commonwealth, of which Australia and New Zealand are key members. Write your opinion in the comments during his visit to Australia in 2014 with his wife, Kate Middleton, and then Prince George. The couple marked Zatch Day in Canberra and were deeply moved by the ceremony that was lit by candles brought by fellow armed forces members. One day, Prince William will be king of those countries. The observance of Insect Day holds significant importance to him. Later in the day, the Duke of Gloucester also paid his respects to the fallen servicemen and women by laying a wreath at the Cenotaph in central London, followed by a service of commemoration and thanksgiving at Westminster Abbey. As one of the extended family members who carry out royal duties on behalf of the monarch, the Duke of Gloucester's participation highlights the importance of honoring and remembering those who have served their country.